Retail Trade, Australia. Monthly and quarterly estimates of turnover and volumes for retail businesses, including store and online sales. Key statistics. The August 2023 seasonally adjusted estimate. Rose 0.2% month-on-month. Rose 1.5% compared with August 2022. An additional information release on October 6, 2023 will see the inclusion of more detailed results for the August 2023 reference period. Additional time series spreadsheets will be published, including state-by-industry results, state-by-industry subgroup results, previously published June quarter 2023 quarterly turnover volumes, and online sales. Trend estimates from March 2020 to June 2022 are not available due to the degree of disruption and volatility caused by COVID-19. Trend estimates throughout the pandemic period are likely to be unhelpful and potentially misleading for users in interpreting underlying trend in retail activity. Central banks across Europe pause for breath after mammoth rate hike run, but face triple dilemma. The Bank of England and Swiss National Bank held interest rates steady this month, while the European Central Bank opted for a dovish hike in Sweden and Norway central banks indicated just one more increase may be ahead. Bonds and bullion purged as crude and king dollar surge into quarter end. For the third day in a row, the machines tried, and failed, to ignite a short squeeze early on. But around 1400 ed, something snapped and the squeeze was in and equity markets went vertical. But the ignited momentum ran out of steam quite quickly. The late-day squeeze gasm lifted everything green, even the Dow briefly, but as the squeeze ran out of ammo, so did the rally. The Dow was red, S&P unch, NASDAQ very modestly higher and small caps solidly higher. But we are seeing multiple sigma moves across multiple markets now with Bitcoin, yields, and gold all swinging violently as the dollar and crude just keep surging. Treasuries were clubbed like a baby seal again today with whole curve up 6 to 9 basis points with 10Y blowing out above 4.60%. Australia warns of impact if China suffers sharper slowdown. The impact of a deeper economic deterioration in China will be mainly felt in Australia through weaker trade and reduced risk appetite in financial markets, Australian regulators said in a quarterly statement. Thank you. 